Hello my dears and welcome back. I got requested to do another video on kalimba tablatures and how you would play along with them. So I did my best to put this video together before we um, got into it. I just want to say before we start, I don't have any musical background and I am the type of person who doesn't want to know all the technical terms and you know all the nitty-gritty I just want to play an instrument that is my only goal and I know there's other people out there who are like I don't really care about music theory I don't really care about learning about notes I just want to be able to play so if you are a person like that then these tutorials will be good for you because we're not getting into why it is the way it is I'm just showing you a quick way so you can look at it and you will know how to play okay so I'm going to be doing some video editing into this so I have to look at a separate screen to know what I am showing you so if there's like a little lag in between that is what is going on. So the first picture that I'm going to be showing you is the same picture that was in the first video by Wynn's music channel. So what you're looking at, you're going to see the whole note, the half note, the quarter note, the eighth note, and the sixth note, which is what we're going to be looking at at this moment. So what I'm going to be showing you is the first tablature. And this is taken from the song um, Sia, Breathe Me. This was the song I just did a tutorial about a moment ago. And we're going to be going over that same song using the tablatures for an example. I'm also going to post the actual song in the link down below so you can listen to it. Because in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is how you will listen to a song and how you will play. Because the main reason of tablatures is to show you how to play if you've never heard the song before. But most of the time, um, if you are a new kalimba player, you already know the songs you want to learn and you know how they sound. So that is what this tutorial is going to be going over. Salem is trying to play with my tripod here. Okay, so starting from the bottom, you're going to see that green line. Most of the time when you're watching kalimba tutorial videos, they're going to have some indicator showing you where they are playing these notes when they're showing you the tablature diagram. So as you see at the bottom here, the green line falls on these two letters, which is going to be your A tab and your E tab. And the line is on both of them together. So you're going to play these two together at the same time. And then, And then it goes to E, then it goes to A, then it goes to E again, and it continues. But I also just want to show you that if you look at the note, instead of like when you are playing piano, the notes would be upright. Well, it's the same thing as like if you were playing piano, except that the notes are sideways. And if you look, it has a little tail, and this is similar to the eighth note and I believe that is what we are looking at is the eighth note. Like I said I don't have any musical background so just looking at it that is what I think we were looking at. Now if we go down and we look at a different picture of the same tablature for the song right above line eight is an example of your whole note it falls on both F and C, so these are going to be played together. And when you play a whole note, there is a pause afterwards. So if you go down into the description and you listen to the actual song, Breathe Me by Sia, you will hear this break in the music. And this whole note is basically explaining that break in the music. So for F and C, we would play it and we would wait, and then we would start back playing the other notes that are shown. So where these circles, which are technically your notes, uh, the dots that show up on the kalimba, that is just telling you what one to strum. 
Now, when we are strumming on our kalimba following these tablatures, you always go from left to right. So when you look at it, the first note you are going to play is going to be on your left side, and then you go to the right. So I'm going to show you another tablature picture. Now, then above the 10th line that I'm going to show you in this tablature picture, there is three notes that are played together. And those notes are C, your higher octave, the first one, A, and F. And even though we read the tabs from left to right, you will still strum them from actually right to left. So, for example, we're not going to strum them this way, we're going to strum them this way. And because they are all on the same line, that means we're going to do it together, so we're actually going to strum it like this. So that means that we play it together. Okay? Now I also want to note, when you are looking at the picture of the tablatures, you're going to see some red lines and some white lines. Now, the red lines are every two times. So, that's going to be your G, your A, your C, your B, and then this A, oh wait, no, F. So, it'll be F, and then it keeps going. So, every two, all the way. Sorry, Salem is <laughs> making an appearance here. So hopefully this helps. I'm going to link everything down in the description below. I'm also going to um, link my old video because I have um, more reoccurring tips. But this just shows you how you are going to play along with it, okay? So hopefully this helps and Thanks so much for your patience, and if you need more help, please leave a comment down in the description. We have our Kalimba Facebook page, which is Autumn the Columbus, the same as here. There also is a Facebook page that is for all Kalimba creators, and I will link that down below as well. Come to the community, come talk with us, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and. Just keep playing kalimba, and like I said, if you need any help, just let me know. Also, there is the Autumn the Kalimbaist um, Instagram page. You can message me there. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.